Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug and I'm here today to show you how to build a tic-tac-toe board using micro bits that can be used either to play tic-tac-toe or to play Hollywood Squares. And so, um, you can see here I've got a hot mess. This is going to be the last time that uh, I build out this model. If I take it on travels, it breaks and falls apart time and time again. So what you're going to need is a base plate. I have the largest base plate that you can get here. Um, you can use any size to make this work for you. Uh, regular Lego pieces. And so you can, if you're fancy and do all one color or a variety of colors, whatever works for you, I have a variety just based on what I have. And then we've got um, 16 micro bits. So let's go ahead and build this out. What I'm going to do is just show you mine's falling apart. Um, and once we get it built out, I explain how to get it coded, how to get it set up, how to get it connected with the PowerPoint. And you can have a very own Hollywood Squares micro bit game that you can use in your classroom at home at home or wherever use you want to do so let's go ahead and uh, dive in here so the first thing we're going to do is we just need to build the tic-tac-toe um, arena and so i'm just going to move some of these pieces out out of the way here um, and what we've got on this plate besides just a hot mess here is about two layers of, of Lego works really well with um, the battery pack and the micro bit. And so I went through earlier and I built out a space line for the micro bits to sit in very nicely. Um, and what we've got is we've got um, an eight um, pegs across and basically an eight by eight arena. And so each of the tic-tac-toe boxes are, are eight by eight pegs. And then we've just used that um, to, to scale it out. And so what I did was I built out, uh, I did black all the way across on the bottom because I had enough of those pieces. Um, but we can go through and you can use any color you want. And then I did red um, for the middle just so it would stand out. And so as we work through here, it just at least two layers um, is adequate to make this look really nice. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and piece these in here like so. Um, and you can just obviously build yours from scratch as you go ahead and measure those out. And so like I said, every square is, is eight pieces. And so I'm just gonna go through here, get this all added in. So one of the things that I did that was really helpful was I laid everything out, the black and all tic-tac-toe first. And so that's what I'm just going back and, and making sure that I've got all the black laid out. And then I filled around the outside with um, white on top, as you can see. And then I just kind of backfilled down below with, with green and orange. Uh, originally I had it green all the way across um, at the bottom and top. Um, just to make it look nicer. But for the sake of this video, I don't really care as much because I'm going to be destroying it as soon as I'm done making this video. So, um, but I did green down here, as you can see here. And then I was doing orange across this way. It just helped for building purposes, keep everything organized. When I had to rebuild over and over again, I knew how quickly it was to build the frame. You could start to get your pieces going um, in a way that was that was easy to navigate. And so I'm just trying to connect all those dots here now. All right, so we got the tic-tac-toe board all built here now, as you can see. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add the micro bits. And so as you look at here, all I'm doing, I've got going to have nine in here. And so what I've got going on here, if I can find the one that belongs, here we go. I'm just taking the battery pack that comes in the Microbot Go Bundle. Two AA batteries, slide that on. All right, you go ahead and plug this in. And then I just took some double-sided, double, double -sided, not double-sided, I just took duct tape, rolled it in a little circle, stuck the micro bit on top of the battery pack, another piece right there, and then I just stuck all the micro bits right there in the middle. 
And so these are already still in there. So I just got to plug these in. And I will add the code here. I'll show you the code here once we get this built. So once you got all those in there, that part's good to go. And now we can move on to the next phase, which is getting this. And so all I'm doing here is building a little space for the battery pack. And this is going to be a score table for one of the um, players in the game. And so what we want to do is get this installed here. All right, so I just built up a little tiny wall over here, kind of just like a little arena. And basically the battery pack's gonna sit in here on the side. And then we're gonna build this up here. And then I just added a Lego piece behind it that this sits on. And then this piece just sits with tape, just like this. And this is where our wire are going to be for our minifig and so I will show you that here in just a minute because what we've got here is a hot glue Lego minifig and so we just took a candy mold we filled it with hot glue and then we just stuck in an LED light into the head and so it looks just like this you fill it with hot glue stick the LED light in let it cool and dry off Pull it out and boom, there you go. And so we're going to add this guy right here. And what's going to happen, once we get him wired into the micro bit, he will light up every time this teammate scores. And so we'll get him plugged in here just like that. And then when I power this guy on, and I'll show you the code here in just a little bit, so don't worry. I'll show you what he does. He should light up. There we go. And this will be our way for us to keep score of the guys. And so when they win at the Tic-Tac-Toe or Hollywood Squares, say you play a best of five, boom, it keeps track. So we'll go ahead and build the exact same thing over here on this arena. On this side, this will be for player number two. So we'll get this guy all lined up in here. And you can build this however you want. You can see here I just have just a basic Lego piece for the arena for red and then I did a blue LED light in his head um, to keep track of red player, blue player type of thing. So let's go ahead and build this on. And if you've got other ideas for how you think this would work, I would love to hear it because I know that this could get way better than what this looks like currently. Um, so I'm all for it. And so one of the things that you have to think about when you're building this out is getting it so it's tall enough to be seen. And so that was one of the things that I had to think about. Um, so we'll stack this guy up here. We'll run him. Same exact process. We'll go ahead and slide the battery underneath. He lights up blue. All right, so that's how we keep track of our scores here. So hopefully we got that going there. We're in good shape with that. All right, now the next step was our, just our communicator box. And so what I was building, um, and this has also been completely destroyed here as well. So maybe we'll modify this. I'm just gonna stick this here. We just had this device, another micro bit. All right, and so we'll just, we're just gonna go ahead and modify this, build something new right here. Or we could probably just Put a brick right here. Just gonna build a little front plate so it doesn't slide out. Stick that there. And then we can just hide this battery pack. Just build a little container for them. 
And then I'll stick a wall over here for this battery pack so he stays hidden. There we go. Yeah, so what this one does communicates with all these to erase the tic-tac-toe board when the match is over. And so what we've got now, we've got our tic-tac-toe board, we've got our Lego scoreboards here for player one and player two. This erases the whole board when we need a new score when the game's over. And the last thing that we have is we just I just built another little square over here. I just have an axle and rod system that goes through across. It allows us to random number generate when we need to select a video in the Hollywood Square PowerPoint, which I'll show you here in a minute. So we plug that in. This just swivels. We can actually just strengthen that up there a little bit. And you can see that when we so it'll randomly go between different numbers that we have programmed. So this is kind of how we built the Lego minifig. I know it's not perfect and precise, but it just gives you an idea. You can build it however you want. And then the last piece that we need to add is this. And this is actually some remodded pieces from an old first Lego League challenge. These pieces here, so they might be kind of hard to come by, but you can... Definitely create your own. These are just Lego pieces across. These are robot pieces. And then I used a vinyl cutter and I can put the files online too. We cut out the X's and O's and the Hollywood squares and just stuck that on. And then we just got some Lego minifigs we just Velcroed onto the arena. And so that is just a quick version of how we built the board. Now let's get into how do we code the micro bits.